My Pi 5 just popped open on my phone and I didn't touch a single cable or router settings. No VPN, no VNC headaches, just a browser. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll expose the biggest remote access pain was using Raspberry Pi, unlock Raspberry Pi Connect, the new official tool, and walk through a zero fail install on the Pi 5. Ever packed a project, reached school, and realized the Pi graphical user interface is still on your bench? You Google remote into Pi and bam tutorial stream SSH key forwarding dynamic DNS but what if the Pi team baked remote desktop into Raspberry Pi operating system itself keep that thought we'll circle back how would instant access change your workflow meet Raspberry Pi connect a browser based web RTC powered doorway to your Pi's desktop and terminal released by Raspberry Pi and now out of beta recently it boots with Wayland graphics on Pi operating system Bookware encrypts traffic end to end and even supports multiple pies per account yes it's free and runs on every 64-bit pie from the four up so your Pi 5 is golden. Here are some scenarios where it comes handy. You built a robot or a rover and it flips in the backyard. You can fire up, connect on a phone, tweak the motor script, drive it back, no sprinting outside. You're in a classroom. Your teacher mirrors a Pi 5 desktop to every Chromebook without extra software. Students follow in real time. But none of this matters if setup breaks. Ready for the safest install? We would start by updating the package. So you would have to run the command sudo update and then run the command sudo upgrade. And after we would have to install RPI connect by running sudo apt install RPI connect yes. And then sudo reboot. The next step would be to link your Pi to your account. Look at the top of your Pi's desktop to the left of the blue to the icon, you'll see the Pi Connect toggle. Click it to turn on Pi Connect. But because we've already run it through the terminal, probably on, this is where you will sign in to get everything set up. And once you have your credentials ready, here's how you'd be able to connect from different devices. From your laptop, open a new web browser. Navigate to connect.raspberrypi.com. Sign in with your credentials. Now you'll be able to control your Pi 5 directly from your desktop. Let's try the same thing on a phone. Open your mobile browser, go to connect.raspberrypi.com. Once connected, you can choose between screen sharing for full desktop access or terminal only for command line control. If you just need the terminal, toggle shell mode to save bandwidth and get faster response times. Imagine coding your robot's pad planner during bus rides or checking greenhouse sensors at midnight without leaving bed. That's everyday life after connect. You just turned your Pi 5 into a pocket portal. 